My name is Mira Mwingawi, and I'm going to talk about how I created military base database management system. First of all, I would like to talk about the case study of this project. So military base is a facility that houses soldiers and relies on suppliers who provide weapons and weapon materials like clothes, food, and other essentials for the military base population to survive. It controls the distribution of derived materials among the soldiers and non-soldiers employees to ensure their effective usability. Some of the soldiers can be transferred to another military base, and therefore they need to track the soldiers' information in the corresponding military bases. All the employees can access the insurance and the permission under reasonable circumstances. Lastly, the military base track the information of the soldiers who go on the mission and gives special attention to the wanted criminals' missions. So my functionality are it should be able to provide information about the employees. It should be able to show the information about the employees' insurances and the percentage that those insurance cover for them. The third one, it should be able to show the information about the soldiers who are transferred to other military bases, their ranks and other information related. And it should be able to provide the inflow of deliverable materials from the suppliers to the military base. And it should be able to show the average of the amount of money spent on the employee salary. It should be able to show the total amount of money spent on the weapon. And it should be able to show the amount of money spent on an weapon materials bought by the military base. So these are my strong entities, and I'll talk about them later in my logical tables. And this is my weak entities. So the last five weak entities are the result of the composition of my AR diagram. So I generalized employee as a soldier and an soldier and deliverable materials as weapon and an weapon. So in this database, I'm assuming that there are, there are weapons available for the soldiers and there are an weapon available for employees. So the permission is also available for the employees and the ranks also available for the soldiers. And I'm also assuming that an employee can have insurance. And I'm also assuming that soldiers can be transferred to another military base. Lastly, I'm assuming that a soldier can go to the mission. So here is my ER diagram. So my flow, the flow of this ER diagram, an employee can have a permission. But under that relation, there, uh, I got a decomposition, which is employee permission. As you can see from the employee to the insurance, employee can have insurance. And an employee can be a soldier and a soldier. And also an employee can be transferred to the military base. And also a soldier can belong to a team. So the relationship between a weapon and a soldier is that a, a non weapon can be delivered to a soldier, but the decomposition resulted, so we have non weapon soldier. The same goes to the weapon. A weapon can be delivered to the soldier, but also the decomposition resulted, which is weapon to the soldier. So we, you can also see that from the supplier to deliverable, a supplier delivers a deliverable, and deliverable is classified into a non weapon and a weapon because a supplier can supply weapon or supply food, clothes, and stuff. So a soldier can have a rank, but not all the soldiers have ranks. So the relation is very clear. So from the soldier to the mission, you can see that there is another table that is there, which is soldier on the mission, which means that not, not all the soldiers goes to the mission. So this table is simply for the soldiers who goes on the mission. And for the mission, there is also a soldiers on the mission. Um, and from the mission, you can also see um, that there is another table called one in criminals. So a mission can target one in criminals, but not all the missions about one in criminals. So you can also see that they, there is a decomposition re resulted from, from the mission to the one in criminals, which is mission one in criminals. So these are my logical tables for strong entities. I have employee, department, ranks, and mission. Uh, next, I also have one in criminals, insurance, supplier, deliverable. I also have logical tables for um, weapon, non-weapon soldiers. You can see I have my my um, my primary keys and non-primary keys and other entities. So you can also still have a logical table for non-soldier and military bears so that I'll be able to know the other military bears that I can tra transfer soldiers to. So for weak entities, I have permission, team, soldier on the mission, and non-weapon, 
non soldier which is a result of decomposition, and employee permission, which is a result of decomposition. And they also have mission one and criminal, which is also a result of decomposition in these last two in the last two logical tables. So now let's see the code. So in the code, I'm going to talk about how I created tables and how I inserted the values and also how I used indexes. So you can see this is how I create an insurance table. This is my employee table. This is department table. This is rank, mission, one and criminal, um, supplier, deliverable, weapon, non-weapon, soldier, and soldier, military, permission, my weak entities, team, soldier on the mission, one and criminals, and this one for this one are for um decomposition tables. Um this one. So here now I created index because a, so a, a given military base needs to track the information of the soldiers on the mission, I created index for soldiers on the mission because they always need to know what is going on if they need help. So they always need to use it frequently. So that's why I used index on the soldiers on the mission to know if someone is saying we need help, medical help, something like that. They also need to track the index. If you can separate an index on one and criminal table. So they also need to know the current one and criminals in order to protect people, you know, uh, to know if people are dangerous for the society. So I also thought like this database needs to create index for them. So here's where I inserted my values. This is insurance. Um, uh, this is employee, uh, this is department, I have seven departments. Uh, this is rank, this is mission, supplier, deliverable, and non weapon. So this is why I inserted my values. So, um, team, soldiers on the mission, one of criminals, and this and this and this. So this is my functionalities. This first, first functionality um, is for, it tracks the information of the soldiers, the proper information the soldiers. So once you run it, you're able to see the, the name, salary, contact, job status, department that the employee is on, insurance, whether they, the employee has a permission or not, where, like anything about the soldier. So this one tracks the insurance information. So you can see it gives you the name of the the names of the the names of the employees in the insurance they are on and the expression date and the coverage what the insurance covers. So this one, this functionality shows the number of deliverable, which which can be a weapon or a weapon, than weapon that a military base received 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 um received per week, so this one. So you can see we, they received 11 deliverable per week in 22 weeks. So this one tracks the information about the soldiers are going to be transferred. So, and this one gives the number, the average, average amount of money spent, spent on salary for soldiers. And this one is the sum, like it's the total amount of money spent on the weapon. And the last one is the amount of money spent on a weapon. So if I run it, so you can see this one is for average of salary. This one is spent on weapon and this one is spent on um, non-weapon. So, I have various foreign keys, of course, some tables had to had to had to reference other tables. So basically that's what happened. And then after that, I would like to Yeah, so here is my references. Thank you for your attention.